Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nia, if you are new here, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing watching. Um, and thank you for watching my classroom setup vlogs. Um, today is a very cool video because I got the chance to go shopping for my classroom and I'm so excited. Um, so if you like the thought of following along with me shopping, go ahead and continue on with this video. trip i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully it wasn't super chaotic um but i did want to share with you guys some of the things that i did get for my classroom just so you guys have a, a better understanding of what i got and why um and two because i want to show somebody i want someone to be happy with me all right so let me show you guys the first thing that i got done or the first thing i want to uh i purchased if you guys got the chance to watch my last video when I talked about, um, I started prepping for my classroom, I put all my like organ, all my things um, in one room or one area of the room, should I say, and really like started to prepare for my school year, um, I revealed that my class theme this year is actually going to be dinosaurs and I'm so excited. I love the idea. I think it's perfect for pre-K. Um, but I can't remember if I got the chance to tell you guys like some of my ideas for the first day of school. I feel like I did, but because I'm doing dinosaurs, because that's my theme, the book that I picked up is the How Do Dinosaurs Go to School book. This is my plan for my first day of school. I'm gonna read this book, A, because you're going to school, and B, because it goes with the theme of the classroom. So I feel like it's like a cool like introduction for them. So I did pick that up when I was at Lakeshore. Um, and the book at Lakeshore was $17.99. I did find it on Amazon a little bit cheaper, but I was already at Lakeshore, so I just went ahead and got it. Um, but it is a little bit less expensive. I did get the hardcover though, um, just so you guys know in case you want to get the exact book that I have. All right, so now that we have gotten that book out of the way, which I think I already mentioned, but whatever. Um, I know for a fact in my last video, I mentioned that I wanted to do the um, Everyone is Welcome collection. And I did get the chance to like show you guys. I'll put it right here to refresh you guys' memory. Um, but I went to Lakeshore, um, which is the closest teaching store to me, um, and I did get some of the resources from that collection. Now, I didn't need everything because I did not really want um, what they had. I just wanted the colors. I hope that made 
sense. I just wanted the colors. And so because I just wanted like the basics of what they had, all I ended up getting from that particular collection is the borders that they had. So I thought they went perfect. So if you are wondering, the company that makes them is uh, Teacher Created Resources. Like I said, I got it from Lakeshore. I'm sure that they have their own website in case you don't have a teaching store near you. But you may also like look it up on Amazon. I'm pretty confident I found the entire collection on Amazon. Um, but just so you guys know. But I did go ahead and get this. This is the Slate Blue, which I thought would be perfect. Oh, man, I hope that glare isn't jacking you guys up. So I did get the slate blue um, border. I also got, this is the light mauve. I think that's how you pronounce that. That's this one. I also got that in that border. And I did get them in two other colors as well. I got it in the blush pink, which this camera is not picking it up. It's actually kind of whiting it out. It is a little bit more pinky than what you guys are seeing. Um, and then I got what they call the calming blue which I thought was like super cute. So I did get those kinds of colors to go with that. But I have to show you my favorite border that I got, you guys. Again, it's the Everyone is Welcome Collection, and it's by Teacher Created Resources. This is the painted uh, polka dot one. And like, look how cute. It literally has like all of the different colors um, that's a part of this collection. I was actually kind of upset. They did not have... Oh. <laughs> they didn't have that like I guess you could say tan or I guess it's kind of like tannish that tannish color or golden they didn't have that color and they didn't have this pink or peachy kind of color I hope you guys can see that um they didn't have either of those like in borders and I kind of wish they did because I felt like it would have completed instead of just doing like two pinks um or two things that look like pink or um two blues but it's okay i think i'm going to try to bring those out like in the dinosaurs that i put around the classroom so it should work out all right so the next thing i got you guys that was a part of that collection is just these super cute little stickers yo i love these i think they're super cute um and it really brings out all the colors that i want in there a it goes with the color scheme but b i love the fact that i could put like a little heart on something that they did um because I, I kind of feel like it's giving them some love giving them kind of like you know a paper hug a sticker hug <laughs> some sticker love i like that so um i did pick up one of these i might go back and get some more just because i really do like kind of hearting all this stuff and just putting that sticker on there i think it's really going to um i would say like affect like the culture in my classroom so i'm kind of excited to like go ahead and roll those out in my classroom let me show you the next thing i got from lakeshore all right, so this is the next thing that I got from Lakeshore. It is a self-inking date stamp. Um, and they have like all these different kinds, so you can see on the back. But this is the one that I got where it literally just tells you the month, the day, and the year. And so, and it looks like this, if you want to see what it looks like. Um, they have this. This was on sale um, at Lakeshore for $9.99, which I didn't think was bad, especially for the use. One of the kindergarten teachers in my last district, she actually had this. And when I saw her put it to use, I thought it was like the most genius thing ever. And I had to have one this year. Basically, when she did like her assessments each year or like she sent something home or um, she like needed to like put it in, you know, like a folder to grade or whatever the case may be, she just stamped it. And I'm like, so you mean I don't have to write the date for every day? <laughs> when my kids forget what the date is and they forget to put their date or their name on it, I can just stamp it? I'll do that. So I did go ahead and pick one of these up. I am excited to go ahead and put it into use because I thought that was like the absolute perfect idea. So hopefully I get to use it as effectively as I'm thinking I'm going to use it in my head. Okay. All right, so next things up, I'm going to show you guys. I did stop past Hobby Lobby as well. Um, Hobby Lobby last year had this super cute um, bulletin board border. And no, sorry, bulletin board paper. That's what I meant to say. Bulletin board paper. And it was kind of like... Um, like khaki. I'll show you guys. Like my word wall last year kind of had it. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, like I just want all of my boards to be like that this year. I only want khaki or craft paper or whatever you want to call it. I only wanted that. 
but they didn't have it this year and so i was kind of sad about that um but i do think that i found a really cute alternative and so i'm excited to show you guys that let me it's kind of long and i'm like beating up the wall but it is still kind of like that light beige or tannish kind of color i'm going to give you guys a close-up of what the picture looks like and then now that you're looking at this close-up you can kind of see it has kind of like a, a woven kind of like effect or print on it um which i think is super dope um and it gives off the color that I want. So I did go ahead and pick this up from Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty confident I want like the background of all of my boards to just be like really, really light and then pair it with like those like muted neutral colors. And I think it's really just gonna give like a calming effect in the classroom. So I did go ahead and pick this up from Hobby Lobby. Their retail price of it is $7.99, but right now Hobby Lobby has everything school related for 40% off. So it actually only cost me $4.79, which I thought was a steal. So I ended up getting three <laughs> Alrighty, you guys so i have one more physical thing that i do want to show you and then i have oh sorry two more physical things that i want to show you that i got one thing that i wanted to show you guys that i definitely had to purchase this year was this <laughs> um so obviously the uh, custodial staff does come in and sweep but messes do happen throughout the day and they don't come until the end of the day i got a mini brush though specifically for my tabletops okay so typically in pre-k even sometimes in kindergarten you don't have desk you have tables and because of that um it's kind of like a communal or like you know community within the classroom which is fine i love that but things happen spills happen messes happen especially because pre-k eats during lunch inside the classroom so my thought process was to get a mini broom so that way if they make a mess like crumbs or things like that they can sweep it up themselves um and that way they're like they're kind of like taking responsibility like for a mess that like they created themselves so hopefully um my thought process will work <laughs> And hopefully um, it'll be put to great use. But I have seen this in a pre-K classroom before and I thought it was absolutely genius so they could just like sweep it right off the table and put it right into the dustbin and dump it out themselves instead of me having to like push it off and then sweep around. And so, yeah, kind of helping them um, understand like to clean up after themselves when they make messes because we all make messes and once we get older, we have to do it ourselves. So that's the thought behind this. Hopefully that works. <laughs> not really sure we'll see what happens all right you guys so i did want to show you i'm actually losing daylight so i'm trying to hurry up and record <laughs> um but i did want to show you one more thing that i did purchase um i went ahead and purchased this is called a leggy liner um i got the one did it tell does it tell me three fourths inches so it's not a full inch yet it's like three fourths of an inch um, but it looks just like this, if you guys can see, um, and it's like self, um, inking. It has ink on it, but what it does, let me see if I can, I don't know if I have a plain piece of paper by me. Here's my, my little end. And so if I put it right on here and I roll it right across, it makes a line. And so I thought that that was like a pretty cool tool to have in my classroom this year, especially because there might be some times where um, they may have like a worksheet or something that doesn't have um, a line for them to write on, but it has like an open space for them to write on. And so my thought was that like the leggy liner will go ahead and help them out a little bit. Um, so that way they can kind of like ground some of that um, writing that they're doing. So I'm actually kind of excited about this as well. All right, you guys, so I did kind of like fix the lighting because I know I was like losing daylight. So I hope you guys can see me a little bit better now. Um, I did just want to show you a few more resources that I did get. I ordered these resources, meaning like one teachers pay teachers. I did not actually um, purchase them or at least not today. Um, one thing I will show you that I had last year. Let me show you. Woo! <laughs> I had to go like in all my teacher stuff to pull it out as I already packed it up. Um, but last year I got these numbers, um, these number posters from an Etsy, not an Etsy, good golly, from a TPT seller. And she, um, had like the perfect color scheme. And so I'll give you guys an example. I had these last year and I laminated them myself. So I have zero with the 10 frame, one with the 10 frame, two, and look at all the colors, you guys. It's like 
legit the colors that are within my skin. So because they like match my color scheme, I decided that I was going to keep this in the classroom this year, but I did go ahead and purchase the alphabet posters as well. Um, and so I will show you what they look like on here. Um, and I will like put the TPT seller there too, just in case you want to know um, who I got it from. Alrighty guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I think it's probably shorter than like most of my videos. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed um, what I showed you guys. I will still continue to shop. So I will do um, like some more hauls like throughout the rest of my uh, classroom setup uh, series. But as of right now, this is all I have for you. This is all I got in the past few days. Um, I did, before I log off with you guys, did want to mention there were a few subscribers on my last video who wanted, um, who were asking me, like, did I create a wish list and like was recommended it to me, an Amazon wish list. And so I just wanted to put it on here. I do have an Amazon wish list. I have been putting it on um, or, or within the description for like my last two videos since they are classroom related videos. Um, but I didn't make a public service announcement because I kind of feel like it's kind of weird asking people like, yeah, can you buy me something off my list? Um, but because they mentioned it and not just one uh, subscriber, a, a few, um, because they mentioned it, I'm going to put it out there. I do have an Amazon wish list. It is down in the description box. By no means are you required or expected to go ahead and purchase it. But just so you know, and whoever um, asked me about it, it is down there for you. So it literally will stay in www.amazon, whatever. Click on it and then you'll be brought right to the link in the case that you did want to help support my classroom this year. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this week. Um, in this video, next week, you guys, we will be in the classroom. I get to go to my classroom on Monday. My furniture is being delivered right now. My classroom is completely empty. There's not even furniture in there. Um, and so my furniture is being delivered on Monday. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go in on Monday or on Tuesday because I don't want to get in their way. Um, but yeah, so I will be in the classroom next week. So you guys will start to see you'll get an empty classroom tour. Um, and then I'll start to set up like some of the basic things for my classroom and you guys are going to follow along. So I can't wait to see you guys until next week. Have a good week and I'll see you next Thursday.